hello friends welcome back to our channel so in today's video guys we will see how you can um, get the google login api key for your sp.net mvc application or even anywhere you want to use the google login then you may have to update that key so how you will do that we will see in this video so first of all you have to go to google and type google developer console and you will see this first option here and you can see i already have one gmail login here so you can also log into your uh, gmail account already and then you will see this screen and here you will see the option to create project so you have to click on create project here now uh, here you will see that uh, we have to enter the project name so you can type any project name here as per your product or brand whatever you have and then you can click on the create button here so you can click on this select project and this project will be selected uh, here you can click on api and services and click on enabled apis so guys here you can see that we have this enable api and services option so you have to click on that and here you can see that we have uh, many options available so from this what you have to do is you have to go and search google plus domains api okay so this will be the one that helps us for the google login so we will select this here and we will click on the enable option here so this is free uh, to use so we can just enable that and we can use that So guys now we have enabled this API so we have to go to the auth consent screen here and here on this screen uh, you have to um, select the external here because the internal will be not be accessible with other Google accounts so we have to select external here and we can click on create um, so now here we have to add these details so you can see that we have to add the app name so we can say test app and then you can uh, add the e gmail account that you have for the user support email and then uh, you have to browse the logo uh, if you have the logo then you can browse here okay and then if you want you can add these links and if you don't want then you can skip those and we can just click on save and continue so here also we have to add one email so we will just copy the same email that we have and we will try to paste that here and click on save and continue so now we have to add the scopes here and in the scopes we will select user info user profile and the other one you can choose as per your requirements but we will just select these two okay and we will just click on update and we will click on save and continue and here also we will again click on save and continue now we will just go to back to the dashboard uh, we don't have any other button so we will go to dashboard again uh, so here we have this app created okay so now uh, we will back go back to enabled apis okay guys so we will go to credentials 
and here you will see that we have the option of uh, create credentials uh, we have to check one more thing here okay okay so we will go back to create credentials and we will click on the auth client id and here you have to select the application type so we want to select the web application you can change as per your requirements and then you have this option here where it says authorize javascript origins this this is not a mandatory one but you have to add the redirect url okay so now this url you have to add where you want to send after the success of the login so we will you can take your local host url and paste here okay and then you can pass the url like home login success you can add any url as per your requirement okay so now we will click on the create so uh, here you can see that we have the client id and the client secret so you have to copy both of these details and these will be getting used in uh, your project while using the google login um, so you can follow the steps for the getting the credentials and use use them in your project so if you face any kind of issue then you can comment on the video so thank you guys and let us know if you face any kind of issue